but anyway, the, the point is, I think if you we could document your the writing of the book and the creation of the story, and uh, you can even have a movie out of the creation. Well, that's of the right. Book. It doesn't even have to be. It doesn't even have to be, have to be YouTube. I mean, it could be a, it could be a documentary on uh, on CBS or something. We've yes. got some good context there, right? right. So exactly. that'd be great. Exactly. That'd be super. Well, you know, you could also we could do some stuff with people in the Venice that probably are concerned about. Venice is slipping right. little by little. It would so politically, you say, I'm not be able to make a political worldwide statement that says this is an issue. Yeah. The world's got to sit up and pay attention. Right. That there have been movies have and you books been there that lately? have actually. Have you been there? Uh, yeah, I have actually. Yeah. Well, well I you know, been. you know, and that you know, it's the water's up. I mean, they have to put pretty high uh, right. risers on those. Uh, right. Pipes. You know, literally, people are walking on boards to go to the shops and all that kind of stuff right. now. And, well, uh, I've been asked to go back and speak. You know, the, the folks over there have been quite marvelous and they yeah, know they that this article is going to be published. I think it's probably not going to be published until the fall. They were going to do it in the late spring, but I think they're holding it back for some reason or another. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, I think it's because of the travel season or something like that. But uh, I've been asked when it is published to go over and talk to some of the folks over No, in, I think uh, I would. I would. And th that would always be another angle that we could use. Um, and that's kind of our philosophy at Pavilion is you, you don't you look at the, all the aspects of right of the creative story, and how you can you know the movie piece and the other 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 things and uh, who knows Joe you may you may be a uh, a doll you know I mean, we, <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get Mattel interested in you so you who knows uh, you never know. New Jersey Joe the action figure the I action like that figure. that's great yeah. the action figure after the after the Venice action movie we I can love have it. A, all right YouTubers look for it in your stores fairly soon hey Richard you know um, you uh, have always such great ideas mm -hmm. and you've been so helpful to me if I get stumped like I give Richard a call and I <laughs> Um, and I say, uh, you know, here's here's my challenge. What can I do? Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever written anything? Do, do you write at all? Oh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing big. Occasionally, I'll put a few notes down. But the part of what I'm doing is is living out my uh, dream of being a writer through people like yourself and my brother and others who have gone further. And uh, who knows? Maybe it'll spark uh, that extra push for myself. But right. it is exciting to me, really, to be able to bring good talent to surface and uh, then it wouldn't have probably otherwise without a little, right. little help, you know, a little, little nourishment, little uh, connections and, and that's really what it's all about. So people out there that feel they have a gift and feel it passionately should just seek out people like Pavilion and, uh, and the people will help them for the right reasons. Keep in right, mind you, right. you don't want to get with someone who's not has your best interest at heart but uh, and, and, and explore it a little further, you never know. Right. Well, uh, R Richard came down, uh, like I say, from uh, from uh, White, White Plains, yeah. and um, he's driven down here. Well, yes. I made him a nice breakfast. He's having a little bit more coffee now. How do you like yes. my? Look at these things. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Yes, it is. It, it's it's quite a, delicious. It, it's a little. What is it? A little. Um, look, uh, the bottom's burned. Uh, that's cinnamon. Type that's the only thing. problem. Uh, the bottom. I didn't look at the bottom. I uh, tried oh. not to look at. The and bottom. I made some but, coffee. But you do pretty well. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Now, I don't you... come down here for your buns. So. <laughs> God, I know. Now, I have admitted to some of the folks that it might be a bit gay, but you, between you and I, you know. And no, don't, Lydia. Those, those buns either. Make yes. sure that Lydia does not see any of my New Jersey Joe videos, because if she does, she'll freak out, and then she won't want to go out with me. And we I'm thinking maybe I'll. Well, uh, Dallas, yeah. I know. Hey, do you want to go down today? Do you have time to go down to Atlantic City and do a little gambler? Yeah. Sure. We go down there. Only, you know, it's only about. If nine, I'm nine. gambling on you, I can gamble <laughs> on that. <laughs> it's right. And then, uh, what, do you, what time do you, do you have to be back late this afternoon? Or what no, I'll time? say three or four. All right, we could do that. That'd be yeah, let's see, you know, a couple, two or three hours, we can go down. Yeah, I'm not, you know, are you, are you a gambling man? Do you like to gamble very oh, much? Oh, not, I know you've not been very before. much. Uh, I'd rather gamble on, on good talent, because even if you don't get where you want, you, you've advanced something. But, right, uh, right. You put the money in the in the thing, and uh, or on the table, and if it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> right, right. Here I feel, feel the money, even if I lose the farm, it'll, ne it'll never be fully gone, because it's in the hands so you, somebody's life. You, know? you were actually one of those blokes that, um, well, that, that uh, terminology actually applied to you. You could, you could have lost the farm. Yes. You put up your farm for your career. Correct. Now, you've been a bit of a risk taker. What's your philosophy of life? I mean, what, what do you say to, I know you have been espousing some of it right now during this uh, talk, but what do, you, what do you think about life? What, what, what kind of life uh, uh, you know, philosophy do you have that well, you could first, share? First of all, you, know, I mean, you, uh, you do things for the right reasons. Uh, I think when you do them for the right reasons and uh, your, you, your, your heart's in the right place, I think you know things will work out. I mean, it might not always be perfect, you might not always be successful, but it always works out in the end, so there's that part of it. 
Then the other part of my philosophy is you got to live uh, in the moment. You got you got to enjoy life as you go through it, and you 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 can't plow through life. You got to have a positive outlook, and you got to believe. And I, that's the the young young or new authors that we see and are talking to now are people who uh, need to believe in themselves and half the time not being successful is they give up on themselves when really they do have the talent and they they don't believe and I always think if you believe you can do it you can do it and so that's what we try to instill and that's my philosophy as well and that doesn't mean you're going to have you're not going to have bad times and tough times you are every life is like that but uh, if you push through and you know I've had a few myself but we pushed through and now we're here and got the pavilion uh, publishing up. I mean it wasn't an easy thing to say I'm going to give up all the land that's been in the family for uh, 125 more years and invest in this uh, enterprise to find people like yourself so uh, but that's that's what I think people need to do and uh, look for the positive things in life and they will come your way. Well, Richard, it's been a real honor yeah, for you to, well, it's good to, be down to talk here. to us on YouTube yeah. and I uh, really appreciate it. Yes. I want to thank all my fans. And this is New Jersey Joe signing off. I'll talk to you soon, blokes. Bye-bye.